Hi, welcome to the Yocto tutorial series. This is the third part of variable assignment. So in this video, we are going to learn about this equal assignment and colon equal assignment. So if we go for equal assignment, so, so this is also a, a simple variable assignment. It requires these two inverted commas that we have here and spaces are significant but variables are expanded at the end what does it mean uh, so as we know that this is our default assignment from part 2 and this is our new assignment so if we look for the value of a here so it should be par yes the value of a is here bar what does it mean that it is uh, uh, the expansion is done at the end of assignment what does it mean is that uh, if for example we have now these two variables a and b so first of all we declare the value of a as foo then we declare uh, sorry first we assign the value of a as foo then we assign the value of b as the value of a it means that the value of a should be also uh, assigned as the value of p so it means that the value of a also should be foo then we assign the value of a as bar so let us check what will be the value of p so here if we check the value of p so it is bar it is not foo why it is not foo because the equal assignment the expansion is done at the end so first it declares a as foo then it declares a as par so now the actual value of a is par so that means that this is this is expanded at the end so that's why the value of b is also bar instead of foo so now if we look for this one so here we also have foo and bar and there is a colon uh, assignment operator so for this simple example if you look for the value of a it will be definitely r so but what is the difference between these two so the difference between these two is the second example so if So here in previous example the value of b was bar instead of foo but here this is the immediate expansion so it means that this is an immediate variable expansion the value assigned is expanded immediately so it will not wait until the end of the all variable assignment but it will expand it immediately it means the value of p will be expanded immediately and if we check the value of p here So it is foo instead of bar this time. So the value uh, is immediately expanded here and stored in B. Hope you like the video. In the next part, we will learn about the append and prepend assignment operators.